Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this week's interactive newsletter. Loads and loads of things to talk to you about this week. Uh, the first thing I want to mention is uh, is testing. Uh, this week and last week, and I think there's some children next week, have been doing and will be doing tests. Uh, now, these are purely to see what the children have understood and what we need to focus on next year, uh, again, to make sure that they really do understand it. And they have been fantastic. The, their attitude and their dedication has been phenomenal. And I was talking to Year 6 this morning about how well they've done and I will be doing with other year groups as well. It's just been really, really good. Tests are something that we have to do. They're something that, uh, that the children will get used to. And we've we've done them in a, in a way where we've not put the pressure on the children. We've just asked them to do the best they can. So I'm really, really proud of all of the children that have been doing tests. And I know it'll be the same next week for those that have got to finish them off as well. So well done to those people. A few other things I'd like to talk about this morning, the first of which is some COVID reminders. Now, unfortunately, as I'm sure you're aware, um, the, the Delta variant is um, is more transmissible and there have been a rise in cases in the local area uh, and also nationally. Uh, whilst, and whilst you know, we're doing everything we can in school and we're doing the right things and we're following the guidance, uh, obviously, what I'd like it like to happen is for uh, parents to continue to be wearing masks please when you're when you're collecting and dropping off the children and just reminding your children about staying in their bubbles uh, we're doing it in school remind the children to do that remind them to wash their hands uh, we just need to do everything we can so but you guys if you can remember to wear masks when you're collecting and dropping off the children and also to socially distance from from other parents that are outside of your bubble as well that'll be really really helpful because the last thing we want to do is to have to close a bubble down um it disrupts the children's learning you know they've missed enough school over the last 18 months or so the last thing we want to do is to close down another bubble and if we had to close a bubble down at the end of term that would mean that that whole bubble would have to self-isolate at the start of the summer holidays we definitely don't want that so you must please make sure that if you're following all of the guidance if you are unsure get in touch with your class teacher get in touch with the office have a chat with myself or some of the other senior leaders uh, as well at before or after school. We must make sure uh, that we are doing everything we can. OK, so thanks for that. So just a couple of reminders. Uh, looking forward to this as ever, we're going to be hearing from foundation children and from year three and year four children about what they've been up to this week. Uh, we're going to hear from Mr. Cash who's our caretaker. Uh, we're going to find out a few things that we didn't know about him, which is really, really exciting. Um, and also, I want to, I'd like to talk to you about attendance. Now, Mr. Starbuck uh, launched the new rewards a couple of weeks ago. The children who have been in school every, every day for three weeks have been up at break time today to collect some prizes from the attendance trolley. Uh, the attendance rewards trolley and which is really really exciting some of them have chosen to save their raffle tickets so they can get a better prize some of them have put those raffle tickets towards a prize and they've taken those today so that's going down really really well and that's been really really exciting uh, and then the only other thing i'd like to talk to you about is transition which i mentioned last week so transition really really important we have spent an awful lot of time uh, thinking about transition and uh, teachers have had lots of meetings dis discussing the children. Next week, um, you will find out which class your, t your uh, child is going to go into and who their class teacher will be. And then the following week and the week after that will be the first chance they will get to meet them properly in class. Uh, but I want to reassure you that we, we put a lot of time and effort into transition because the relationships that the, the children and the staff have is absolutely crucial and we recognise that. So it's so important that we get that right. Okay, so um, that's all from me today. Hope you enjoyed this week's newsletter and I will see you after school today. If not, have a lovely weekend and we'll catch up with you next week. Okay, thanks very much. Goodbye.